Hi everyone, my name is Richard, owner of San Diego Cell Phone Repair, and today I'm gonna show you a screen replacement on an iPhone 10, and I'm also gonna do a battery replacement on this cell phone. And just to get this out of the way, this is how much uh, I'm gonna be charging for this. It's 175 minus $50 for a soft OLED iPhone 10 screen. And a iPhone 10 battery is $17. So 175 minus 50 for the screen minus 17 for the battery is gonna give me $108 in profit. This repair is probably gonna take me about half an hour or so. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna turn off the cell phone. And then we're gonna wanna take out these two bottom screws right here. And the way I do that is with an iPhone pentalobe screwdriver. That's what they call it. All right, so I wanted to turn this on just to show you guys an additional revenue that you can make off of this. So as you can see, <clears throat> this screen has no display damage. The touch issue is good. I can already tell this is a real genuine Apple screen. So what I'm gonna do, since the customer doesn't want their cracked old parts, I keep this screen. And for an iPhone 10, I'm gonna probably get about $30 uh, to sell this screen off. And I, I made a video about this in my channel explaining how this works. You keep your old screens that customers don't want and you sell them off because people, what people do, you can refurbish this and reuse this or there's people out there that'll buy the screens off of you. They'll come to you whether you have a storefront or not. People used to come to me in a coffee shop and they used to buy all my cracked iPhone screens that were legitly like working. They weren't like, didn't have touch damage or anything like that. All right, so I just wanted to sh share that with you guys. All right, so after we got these two screws out, we're gonna heat the bottom of the phone. And then I'm gonna grab a tool like this, and then I'm gonna get in between the screen and the uh, metal frame like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a simple card like this. This happens to be a gift card with no balance on it. And I'm just gonna open it like this. All right, we have the screen open. There's a little bit of adhesive right here, here we go. Now the screen, opens like this. You don't want to open it this way. It doesn't open this way. It opens this way. Okay, so what I, we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these five screws here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna use our Y-tip screwdriver. It's a different screwdriver than this. The bottom two screws use a different screwdriver. Now we're gonna have a different screwdriver right here. And as you see, I'm gonna take them out all in a row because as you'll notice, these are all different sizes right here. You don't wanna mix up uh, different, see? See how this is like a little baby screw right here? You can barely even see that thing right there. And then you got the little daddy screw up there, right? And then you have another long screw right here. And then you got a little baby screw right here. And you got one more little tiny baby screw right here. So as you see, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna take this metal shield out and I'm gonna place it just like that right next to there. So you can see how they come out. What I'm gonna do first is unplug the battery and it is this connection right here, you can see. And then I'm gonna go and start unplugging the screen. You could just follow the cable right there. And then I'm gonna pl unplug the ear speaker connection right here. And there's usually always adhesive that's right here. I get this, I kinda pluck it out like this. So why don't I work on the screen first and then I'll take the battery out next. So as you can see, there's three screws to take this thing out right here. One, two, three. And we're gonna still use the wide tip screwdriver to take this out. 
We're gonna place these just like this. One, two, and three. You see how I laid them out right here? One, two, and three. It matches one, two, and then bottom right, three. So what we're gonna do, this is important. You don't wanna screw this up. If you cut a wire right here, the face ID is not gonna work. You don't wanna do that, whether it's your phone or a customer's phone. So the easy way that I do to take this out is I blow heat on this side. Because this is, there's adhesive that's sticking this thing onto the screen. All right, so then I'm gonna grab my tool. And as you see, here's the mic right here. I believe that works with Siri. I'm gonna take this little thing right here. I'm gonna slide my tool under, underneath the mic. And then I'm gonna lift up a little bit. And then I'm gonna get under this piece right here. And then I'm going to lift up And then that's lifted up. Now I'm gonna grab the pointy side and I'm gonna lift this thing up right here, just like this. Now as they're all lifted up, check that out. This thing came out easily, just like this. You see, no damage whatsoever. We are in the clear, right? So what we're gonna do is grab your new screen right here. And what we're gonna do is just transfer this and turn, uh, screw it back in right here. And as you can see, this is soft OLED right here. For you guys don't know what the difference of between hard OLED and soft OLED, soft OLED is more durable. Your customers will like it. Um, you won't have like comebacks uh, when the customer says, my, my screen cracked and I don't even know what happened. Uh, I dropped it by one inch or whatever. That's hard OLED for you. I get soft OLED. Okay, so on an iPhone 10, I get soft OLED. So what we're gonna do is just go, we're just gonna work in reverse. We're gonna grab this piece right here and we're gonna install it right in there. We'll just go in with this little rectangle thing right here. We're gonna go in, go right there, get this thing in, plug it in its spot, line up the little mic underneath where the little hole thing is this thing is going to flap over like this and then now it's time to put in our screws just like this boom 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 here we go okay so that's all screwed in right here now basically this screen replacement is almost finished all we have to do is just plug this in plug the connections back in put the uh this right here and put the screws in and you're pretty much you're done but remember we want to do a battery replacement right here so here's my good working crack screen remember i'm going to keep that too because i'm going to get money for this I, I did i tell you guys how much i'm probably gonna you're gonna get around 30 dollars for this and it's all different prices for the the newer the model is the more you're gonna get for your good working crack screen all right, so what we're gonna do to take the battery out, which doesn't always work, right? Is we're gonna try to take these, use the, uh, there's adhesive that's underneath the battery and we're gonna try to pull the adhesive out. Let's see if I can get this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just gotta yank the battery out. I'm probably just gonna yank the battery out. When you guys see like other YouTubers, like, you know, like YouTubers, like Jerry rig everything or whatever, how they take the battery out so easily. The thing is how that happens is they're working with brand new phones that are like one day or two days old. That's not realistic. You're going to get a phone like this. That's going to be three years old and the adhesive tears so easily, right? So this is going to be my new battery. I'm just going to yank the battery out is gonna be the new battery, right here. An iPhone 10 battery, actually it's like two batteries in one because you can see here, like this. And then an iPhone 10s, it's one solid battery. It doesn't bend, it doesn't have, it doesn't look like it's two separate ones, okay? 
All right, so I'm just gonna grab my tool right here and just lift up. All right, this thing is almost out. As you can see, the hard adhesive that's in there. All right, it's coming out. Let's see if I can just pull this thing out now. All right, this one seems to be almost out. There we go. There's the old battery. We do not need this anymore. Let's place this aside. So what we're gonna wanna do is take out all this old adhesive right here. Because as you can see, the battery comes with the new adhesive. And the reason why this thing is glued in is because people run with their phones, they exercise it, they go with to the gym, right? You don't want to have like uh, something in your phone like battery jiggling around. All right, I think that's good enough. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna lay the battery in here. I'm gonna take the adhesive stuff out turn this around like this here's the battery we're gonna lay it in here I'm gonna I'm gonna actually plug in the battery and plug it in like this and then just lay the battery in how it it seems like how, how it's gonna go right and then what I'm gonna do I do this so it's easy to plug in I'm gonna unplug the battery like that so when I go in to plug the battery it's easy you just go blam and it plugs in Okay, so now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna grab our our new screen and then just plug this back in and put the screws back. So let's start with the uh, top piece first, the ear speaker cable. And the way I do this, I flip the phone this way, and then I grab this and I go like this. Bam's plugged in. Then I take, I swing it back like this. And then I plug in the screen. Blam, plugged in. Then this part right here is a little bit more tricky. I'll grab my tool and blam, that's plugged in right there. And I'll make sure that it's plugged in all the way. Sometimes it's plugged in on one side, like that. It's plugged in on one side and the other corner is not plugged in. Everything is plugged in. Now I plug in the battery. Now I get my metal shield right here and I slide it like this from the top. I align the metal shield like this. I align my screw holes and then I start to put in my screws. You can start top to bottom if you want to. All right, so now what we're gonna wanna do is close the screen back into the phone. And the way that I do this is I start at the top. As you see, there's all these little tabs around the screen. Start at the top and then I work side to side. See this cable right here? I think on these, you have to push the cable in a little bit. There you go. Work side to side all the way down. We can go ahead and turn on the phone. And I'm gonna take the final two screws all right, so the phone's not turning on. Let me see if uh, the battery's dead on this one. Or sometimes you have to actually plug it in, plug it in for the phone to turn on. Hold on. All right, that's all I had to do. I had to uh, just take the, the cable, the wall charger, plug it in, and then it just popped on. So when this screen turns on, I'm gonna actually show you guys the power button. Okay, there we go. See, power button works perfectly fine. Had nothing to do with power button. Sometimes when you're replacing a battery or sometimes when you're replacing a screen, the way that you turn the phone actually on is by you taking the wall charger and just plug it in. Just plug it in and then the, the, the phone will just, it'll power on by itself. All right, bottom two screws and then we're gonna be done. I'm also throwing in, the guy asked for a screen protector Hi, how you doing? Okay. All right, you guys, I had another customer that walked in. So the total time of this video, this camera recording, I'm actually recording this video with my Galaxy S22 is 25 minutes. So 25 minutes to do a screen replacement, a battery replacement, 
a phone call from a customer and a somebody else that walked in to do this repair. 25 minutes to make $108 in profit. So for any of you guys that would like to know more about the cell phone repair business, look at the link in the description. I do have a cell phone repair course that helps along with that. You do not need a shop like how I have a shop to make money repairing phones. You can be a mobile person, you can drive all around your city and get customers, or you can do this stuff in a coffee shop. I was, I personally was making $9,000 in profit in a coffee shop before I got this store. So you can do it in a Starbucks, in a coffee shop, or maybe even a small office. It's all about the marketing, I'm telling you guys. Marketing is equally or even more important than the service that you provide. It's how customers find you. You need to convince people that do not know anything about you to come into the door and use your service. All right, everyone, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.